Two pavilions, one German, the other Soviet Russian, towered over the exposition, facing each other, a juxtaposition of ideological giants. The German architect, Albert Speer, had assured Hitler that the German pavilion would overpower the Soviet design and represent a bulwark against communism. Speer received a gold medal for the building, as did his Soviet colleague. As your resident scribe, I took some notes of the conversation between Benjamin and Jennings as they watched this film slowly go by. So tell me, what do we have in common? Jennings then asked. Meeting here, like this, on an international stage, I mean, a perch in the sky, is it montage or coincidence? Who knows, Benjamin replied. We lived at the same time, in a world that was about to fall apart. As did my old friend Bertolt Brecht, who wrote, You who shall emerge from the flood in which we are sinking, think when you speak of our weaknesses also of the dark time that brought them forth. While Jennings replied in a more modest manner, and we were both in Paris in 1937, you wrote The Arcades Project, and I wrote Pandemonium, well, not right, compose out of numerous historical quotations and excerpts. We both believe in the value of montage. In some ways, Pandemonium, my book, was a moving film script, a montage of images, Citation without quotation marks, as you say in the Paris Arcades project. Benjamin said, I suppose we both had a certain need to use history to help us understand and change the present, and cinema was an obvious reference point. Like the surgeon's scalpel, cinema could slice through time and space while montage served to undermine the way history is fetishized, as if history has little bearing on our present time. <laughs> 